So this is a surprise. We are in South Africa right now, and this little wreath over here, this is the only Christmas, Christmas ornament in this entire house. So our host family is out at the moment, and I plan to quickly try and do a Christmas table. I'm sort of trying to get used to Christmas in the middle of summer. It's hot outside, there's Christmas carols playing, but no sign of snow or anything like that. So this is really quick, really rapid, and follow along with me. I'm only using what I can find in their home, and I'm trying to do it very quickly before they arrive. So I found these bright green um, placemats, and I thought, well, this could work. But then I realized that I travel with a whole suitcase of tablecloths. I know other people travel with suitcases of extra shoes, but I travel with tablecloths. And recently, we had the hardest experience in Cape Town and I used this great cloth for our picnic. So I think this looks like a good Christmas cloth. So I'm going to see what I can build with this. So we're gonna start by throwing this on the table. And um, I only came up with this idea about an hour ago. So um, I haven't been to the shop. I've just looked around to see what I can find. This is a very big piece of fabric. So I may disappear behind it, but just hang on, I'm coming back again. And um, this is what we're gonna put on the table. And if you hear the doorbell ring or me suddenly stopping, you realize somebody's walked in. But let's get this on here. And um, thanks, Brett, for trying to capture me while I'm whizzing around here on the table. But we're trying to get a nice cloth here. Uh, I think I need an assistant, but um, we're getting it. There we are. Okay, so just because I don't want to damage the wooden table, we're also going to put these placemats on. Don't actually go that well, but once I cover them with a plate, we will be doing fine. You know, white plates are the exact thing that you need, and you can, you can do all sorts of things with a white plate. So here we go, and I'm sitting for six, although there may well be more people, but just to give you an idea. Plain white plate, if you want to do hospitality, start with white plates. You know, some people order these fancy things on their wedding registries and never ever use them. The white plate is the way to go. Now, those of you that have followed Heartistry know that I love napkins. And since this is a cat family, I found these cute little cat napkins as a hostess gift when I first came here a couple of weeks ago, and I'm just helping myself to the napkins. So these are just gonna make something really cute on the table, we'll add those there. I'm just gonna stretch across, and here we are. Now, this is where we start to get very fancy. I headed out into the garden, found some greenery. Now, as I told you, this is the height of summer, not too much around, but I think this sort of does the trick. And I happen to have some green and red felt. Quickly just cut out some, sort of looks like a flower, but it's meant to be a berry. Tied a little bit of red thread around it. That whole um, operation took about 10 minutes. And of course, if you're in America at the moment where there's lots of berries around, either artificial or real ones, you can just add those. But this is me making do with what I can actually find. So there we are, we've got those. I've got a couple over. Now, this is where we're going to get um, something else that anybody can do. Take one vase and another one that's slightly smaller. Fill it with water, and um, I just grab the greenery. Not very attractive, but you'll get the idea. And I'm going to put this smaller vase inside the big one. But before I do, I'm going to add something red. Now, since I don't have any cranberries, you can't find a single cranberry. Since it's the height of summer, I found some cherries. So these are gonna go in the water, and then I'm just going to dump the other vase on top of the cherries and a um, bit funky but it sort of does the trick and uh, gives the nice red green feeling now this is my all-time favorite decorating item other than a cake stand everyone needs a cake stand these are these fun little sparkly lights now of course every time i talk about these lights people want to know where do you get them hardestreet.info Come to the blog and I will give you some tips as to where to find these lights. I carry them with me in my suitcase. It's amazing what you can do with these lights. You take the battery part, pop it into the 
plants and mm, hope it doesn't fall in the water and we've got something sparkly now of course I'm also all, I'm interested in everything that's decorative, but we do need to have a glass and a knife and a fork. And uh, let's quickly add those around the table. And we are almost finished. Was anyone timing me? I would like to have done this in five minutes. Might have been a little bit longer, but you get the idea. I have uh, two of these leftover berry things, pop them on the top. How about that? What does that look like? Knives and forks. And just raiding my friend's cupboard, I have made a little bit of a Christmas table. So don't be intimidated. You don't have to have lots of fancy things. Don't need a lot of money. Don't need uh, anything that you have to purchase. Just some fun napkins, a tree, a bush, a little bit of creativity, and you can make something really fun and festive. Come on over to hardestfree.info. I'll put some photos there and share your ideas and your comments. And I wish you all a wonderful Christmas. Thanks so much for following.